Hi, let's talk about Wednesday, the 27th of March. It's a Scorpio moon uh, starting uh, 9 a.m. Universal Time. So this makes it, of course, as you've been uh, following my uh, videos, you know by now that every single time the moon is in uh, is in Scorpio, it should be a very nice, uh, very uh, beautiful uh, day, actually, if you're a water sign, which is Scorpio, which is uh, Pisces, which is Cancer, and then we also have Virgo and we have also, um, uh, uh, we have Virgo and we have Capricorn. So all these five signs should basically enjoy a very uh, easy and smooth day. And the moon will stay in Scorpio for three consecutive days, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So these above mentioned signs should enjoy actually these beautiful three consecutive days. Uh, how is it going to be for all signs? Let's start with Aries. Aries, um, I know the moon in uh, Libra on Monday and Tuesday was not easy, maybe that easy on you. So today, Wednesday, Wednesday should be easier, smoother. Maybe you will be busy getting things sorted out, uh, counting uh, everything around you, evaluating things, which is quite fine. Remember that the moon, um, the excuse me, the sun and uh, Mercury, uh, both are in your sign, so this should be a, a good day to catch up with your work. Uh, moving to Taurus. Taurus, it's not a very easy day. The sun is not helping. The moon is not helping, basically. So there are some complicated issues maybe uh, going around. You have to be careful. If you have important work to do, just be um, aware of what's happening. Be careful with what's happening. Try not to get involved with the negative, uh, with the negative people, you know, and just be, um, just make sure that that you keep a positive attitude at least to protect yourself from all the negative vibes especially if you were born on the 11th 12th or 13th of May let's uh, move now to Gemini I like this day Gemini uh, although it's uh, a busy day and uh, maybe it's not as nice as uh, as um, as Monday and Tuesday, but still you can get things done. I think you can enjoy this beautiful day. It is a it's an engaging kind of day, and it's fine if you have the right mindset. I think you can do great, and you can excel in so many things. Uh, just try to organize, be organized, and to prioritize. Uh, let's move now to cancer. Of course, this is a beautiful day. It's a relief, actually. It was really tough on Monday and Tuesday, all this emotional roller coaster. So now you're, um, you're kind of on the, uh, on the safe side. Uh, so try to get a grip on yourself, stand uh, on your feet, face life, uh, uh, uh with uh, with confidence i think you're going to enjoy this day it will give you great courage and uh, more uh, more things to look uh, forward to you will enjoy three consecutive beautiful days as for leo things may challenge you at a certain point or at a certain moment but i think you can get things actually done and you'll be happy with yourself um if you know that this is what is given to you, the, 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 you know, all the ingredients given. So I think basically you can handle things. The, 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 the big help comes from the sun, uh, which is in Aries. So whatever comes over to your table, you know, to your desk, I think you can handle it. Just pay attention, some personal issues may knock on your door may interrupt your work your mind you know your thoughts so try to uh, brush them aside don't let them interfere with your performance uh, virgo i like this day there are things that can be actually analyzed and seen uh, with a different um, mindset i think you can enjoy this day there are issues that you can actually analyze or you can see from a different point of view and i think you you ultimately or uh, uh, i think you can enjoy this beautiful day and you can actually get things done in a very different amazing way so let's see what you can do what you can come up with because you also will be amazed 
moving to Libra, things will move forward. You're moving forward. You got things done. You got, you decided on certain issues. And I think you have some, um, uh, some um, motivations, big motivations to move forward. Uh, the moon in the second house will give you great uh, determination and uh, more, more self-confidence. Just make sure that whoever you uh, had a conflict with, maybe uh, just try not to, just try to take it easy on yourself and on them also. Scorpio with the moon in your sign, this is a great day to get things actually uh, you know, mix and mingle. You can get things around, move them around with the moon in your sign for three consecutive days. You have the green light to move things upside down, left or right, whichever way uh, you want. So this is a very nice day. It gives you a change um, and change uh, of view. Um, of course, it's a new lunar um page new lunar month four weeks and you can do things or start afresh let's say it's a new start so there you go uh, Sagittarius it is a slow day every single time the moon is in Scorpio things slow down and it's fine because it gives you a chance to um, unload sit back and enjoy and you have three consecutive days to enjoy, sit back and enjoy. How can you enjoy this, this slow, uh, maybe sometimes frustrating days? Uh, you take things as they are. Don't hurry. Don't rush. Don't be rushed. Don't be hurried. Um, push everything till the moon reaches your sign. That will be Friday uh, afternoon. So just sit and wait, work on uh, very simple things, not complicated things, and uh, uh, keep an eye on your belongings because some, um, uh, some delays or misunderstandings may happen today. Uh, let's move now to Capricorn. I love this day. It is interesting. It is fun, kind of fun. It is kind of, uh, it has um, a certain different energy around it. And I think you can enjoy, you can have fun with friends, even with people around you. Just go out to the market, busy things, and you just enjoy this, this loud noises, these loud noises, you know, the rush, the traffic, everything. So this can be an interesting day. It's kind of refreshing and a little bit kind of uh, uh, gives you more optimism. This is a very nice day. Uh, you can be quite lucky if you were born between the 6th and the 12th of January. Okay. Let's move now to uh, Aquarius. Aquarius, I know you have things to say. I know you have things to um, uh, discuss. Uh, you have questions and uh, you wonder about certain issues. Uh, just take things um, in a very, um, in a very uh, flexible, diplomatic way uh, so as not to provoke challenges. We don't want challenges at all at this time. We have to prepare uh, you have to prepare yourself for April and for May. So we don't want to create a snowball. Whatever you do, you can do it um, in a very wise day and you will be rewarded. Definitely the weekend is going to be great. So don't ruin it. Uh, be nice, be helpful, uh, help people around and you will be very, very satisfied. Let's move now to Pisces. Pisces, I love this day. It's uh, it's actually, it's so refreshing. It's so energizing. It's so welcoming and you should take it with, uh, with uh, an open uh, arms, with open arms, because it is really beautiful. You should enjoy this beautiful day. It's very helpful. And you've been waiting for this beautiful, um, these beautiful moments, this this great timing. It was tough for the past five, six days. So now is your chance to get things done. Uh, because of planet Mars, which is near your birthday, please be careful if you were born between the 21st and the 24th of February. Drive carefully. Okay, let's uh, wrap it up with one on the 27th. That should be a very interesting, great year. Uh, there are many, um, there are certain 
uh, issues that you need to sort out probably related to some uh, it has to do with some um, some documents maybe some issues that you've been trying to sort out it could be like uh, some um, maybe something related to insurance policies maybe it's got something to do with inheritance um, legal issues um, banking issues you know financial things it can be anything this is a very important year because not also you'll be dealing and sorting this out and in resolving them you will also get a chance to move around maybe relocate so basically this is it wishing you all the best see you tomorrow enjoy bye bye